Welcome back to the Colonel Does King's Quest 2015. We are in chapter 5, getting toward the end, I think. Got four more puzzles here to go with the uh, brain challenge. Not sure I agree with some of these solutions, but we're, we're getting there. Alright, so guards standing in formation in four rows, they will align. Pay attention to their location. No guard should repeat on the same line. Find the threes in their stations and your cups will taste just fine. What? What? Guard standing information in four rows. They will align. Pay attention to their location. No guard should repeat on the same line. Find the threes in their stations. And your cups will just taste just fine. Oh. Oh. Uh. One. Two. Um, all right. So if we do that, we do that. Um, I think this guy's got to be four. This guy's got to be three. Two, three, one, four, three. That looks like it works. Uh, one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> Not really much of a challenge for minds nice. like ours. I didn't see him drinking any of this crap, man. I'm kind of cheesed off that he's getting off without having to do anything. Alright. Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares in the corresponding row or column. Multiple digits in a row or column reveal multiple sets of consecutive black squares separated by at least one square. Fifteen of these cups are safe to drink. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five, fifteen. There's, there's ten of them? What? Um. What? Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares in the corresponding row or column. Multiple digits in a row or column reveal multiple sets of consecutive black squares separated by at least one square. So, I'm assuming this is going to be like three. This is going to be five. This is going to be one, two, three, four. This is going to be two. Ooh, maybe not. Two, three, four. Two. So there's three here, one and one, one and one, five, one, 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 four, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, two. Yes. All right, so do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So the empty ones, uh, second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row. Oh, trace. What? Hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, f oh. How'd that happen? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, what am I space barring? How do I get out? This is right. This is this is right. Why is it not? Can't click escape. What am I supposed to do here? Fifteen of these cups are safe to drink. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? So it's the opposite. Good lord. What? Oh, come on, dude. Hypnotic powder? Woo! I had the stupid puzzle beat. Give me a break. Oh, no. Alright, so this is gonna go one, 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 two. This is all of them. Uh, this is going to be one, 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 and this is going to be one, two, three, four, four. Yep. Yeah. All right. So these are the safe ones to drink. All of those, 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 and these three. There we go. Mordak, you could have made these a little more challenging. Shut up. All right. I keep thinking, <laughs> thinking back to Princess Bride when he's poisoning the glass, and he's like, "Well, maybe you think that I'm gonna think that I'm gonna think that you're gonna think," and <sighs> my brain hurts. Kings can be brave, compassionate, or wise, but there is only one path that leads to all three. To find the one cup that is safe to drink, you must follow the path that begins on a triangle and ends on a three. Begins on a triangle and ends on a three. All right, so six minus four is two plus three. That's not right. Six minus five is one plus two, so six. This one. One more to go. <laughs> I'm smart, Manny. Suck it. All right. Oh, Sudoku. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> A good king looks towards the future, but is always conscious of what he is leaving behind. What? Conscious of his future... What? Alright, so let's... Let's do this. So this was the first one. It was three. This one... One, two, three, four. One, four, one, two, three. Oh, leaving behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve is the 
star. So 12 left behind. So 2, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 12, 12. Two, twelve, twelve. Okay. Uh, this one we left behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten. Two, two, twelve, twelve, ten, and four. Two, twelve, twelve, ten, and four. Two, twelve, twelve, ten, and four. My guess is that I'm picking these ones. <laughs> you drank from the wrong cup, didn't you? I uh, think you should go home and feed your family. Uh, Anyone need a pick? So maybe we do the opposite. No, I guess we can't do the opposite, right? Um, maybe this is the order that they... No, maybe... No, it can't be the order. Just in case it is, let me write this down. Um, Alright, so we got the club spade the diamond heart and the star all right so let's go back check out the tables so the diamond is we left three behind uh, left behind is three and take in one and then heart one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we took sorry we left behind twelve and we took one two three four and then we go check out the star we took one two three four and we left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and spade we left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we? Oh no, we took a whole row. Fifteen. We took fifteen, we left ten. Yeah, we took this whole row. Or one of the rows. Right? Is that what this one was? <laughs> I don't remember now. Crap. There's one up there. Maybe it was this. No, that was. I don't remember now. Alright, so this one we took one, two, three, four. Sorry, we left four. And we took one. So. I don't think that's going to help us at all. So the club, a good king looks towards the future, but is always conscious of what is leaving behind. All right. <clears throat> so for the club, it, we left behind four. For the spade, we left behind ten. For the diamond, we left behind three. For the heart, we left behind 12. And for the star, we left behind 12. 
That doesn't look like the same pattern I had before. Huh. Interesting. The duel's at a standstill. Huh. Neither competitor could prove they were smarter than the other. Huh. <laughs> I was That's what I said. This, friend. Although you started out as a lanky bumble ward, over the years my trials have conditioned your wits to equal mine. No matter. I have a backup plan. It's the Princess Bride this cups. This flame enchantment will ensure neither of us can leave until the other has perished. How about instead of wits, we engage in a lethal game of chance? Grandpa had no choice but to play the game. He was trapped and his kingdom was on the line. I won this set of goblets from a game of wits with Lord Sawin. One of them holds an irreversible eradicating elixir. A powerful magic that will slowly destroy whatever it touches from the inside out. There are no special markings or any way to puzzle out which is the poisoned vessel. <laughs> if there was, I would have slipped it into the batter of your breakfast years ago. But what fun would that have been? We'll each take turns choosing a goblet to drink from until they're all gone, and the better man wins. You'll drink first. Grandpa was at a loss. For the first time in his life, the four E's of puzzle solving could not inform his decision. There was no logic to puzzle out. No clues or hints. Just a simple choice of life or death. <sighs> and I can't escape it. All right, so. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always... Oh, don't mind that. Just a simple trinket. Um... Take your time. I am. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always excelled at. Could have swore I saw light changing or something. Um, Take your time. There's no strategy. I guess. Here. Well, I guess you won. Bested me. Good show, old friend. Guess I'll ingest this and call it a night. But you know I don't play fair. And you've just revealed where the elixir is hiding. <laughs> what are you talking about? You played right into my trap. Just like that foolish archer. Oh, what? No. Grandpa's life was spared, and our whole family moved to Tantalor. The end. No, Gwendolyn. What? It couldn't have ended no like kidding. that. You know, if I chose that pump, it would have destroyed the very castle you are standing in. There is only one solution. He was out of options. Grandpa looked around at the kingdom he created and realized <clears throat> there was only one choice. I did? Grandpa knew the eradicating elixir would slowly destroy him from the inside. No! But Davin would live on. That day, Manny was outsmarted in a way he never imagined possible. In a way, he could not comprehend. Huh. Nice move. I'll accept that. But let's see if I can help speed up the effects of that potion. You 
pushed the thinking man to brute force. I hope you're happy. Wait, you the dude's out of his contract. Are. There's no need to torture him. It was at that moment, while his body was being jerked through the air, that Mordak was reminded of his first encounter with Grandpa. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> I don't remember. Was I compassionate? I think I was. Those memories stirred up something fierce inside there me. There you go, buddy. Manny didn't save him from a life of goblin abuse. Grandpa did. And it was time he repaid the favor. Leave him be. I won't ask you again. Shatter the crystal. I guess it's time I held your tongue. Shatter the crystal. Shatter it. Break it. Go, no, baby. No. Sweet. Where'd more that go? Oh, there he is. Manny's enchantments over the castle were broken, and he was never heard from again. Davendry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Graham, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived. I don't know, my grandpas are pretty good. I agree. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. That suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. All right, kiddos. It's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa, and I'll tuck you in. Good night, Grandpa. I, I love you. Uh, I love you too, God. And I am proud of you. Thank you. Crap, that man. This is sad. I just want to say you're the best Grandpa and my favorite person in the world. I love you. And I'm so sorry you didn't get your last adventure. Sweetheart, there is nothing to be sorry about. I now know that all of my adventures will live on forever inside of you. As long as you keep telling my stories, they will never die. Thanks for sharing them with me, Grandpa. I love you. I love you too, dear. Go. Go get some rest. Wake me in the morning, and we can make some pancakes. A chaka. Catcher? Crap, I can't remember now.
Oh man. Grandpa. Supposed to move you? Oh, I am. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> I'm not gonna go searching for stuff. The tapestries of him. It's him and Alexander, I guess. And Rosella. Stoic with beard. A little older and wiser. I guess that's King Graham, the Compassionate. And the young couple. So, all right, let's get there today. This is a little longer episode. <laughs> Apologize. But I don't want to do you like that. I'll make you wait for like a five minute episode. My sweetheart Gwendolyn. When you read this letter, you'll already know about the crown I have left for you and why. Please don't worry about me. I lived a long, fulfilling life and I wouldn't change one decision. I've led this kingdom with all the compassion in my heart, and I've seen that same love in your eyes. But I would never force upon you rules and addenda to protect my legacy. You must make your own decisions. I only share my stories in the hope that they would help you down whichever path you choose for Daventry. Go forth and be Queen Gwendolyn the Compassionate, or the Patient, or the Dragon Slayer. Just know that I will always be watching over you and kissing your forehead from the stars above. Crap. Okay, am I supposed to do anything here? Look in the mirror, maybe? Oh, take the crown. Walk any faster.
new series coming, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I think there is a epilogue series. I don't know what that entails, but I do know that I have it. So uh, we'll be doing that up next. I don't know if it's just like a, a story recap or if there's something we have to do in it. But uh, we'll get to that shortly. But uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And I guess until the epilogue, please do take care.